for anyone that is standing out in the vestibule, there is an overflow downstairs to where you are able to watch the funeral services in comfort. So uh, for anyone who would like to go downstairs, feel free to. There is um, an overflow downstairs to where you're able to watch the funeral services.
For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day. And not only me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. At this time, we will have a musical selection by Minister Quadricus Calls, followed by scripture by Reverend Joyce Stewart, and prayer by Reverend Estella Evans. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Oh, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. Lord, I lift your name on high. Have you come to lift up the name of Jesus? Oh, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Oh, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My dead you paid from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on 
be coming from 1 Corinthians 15 chapter, starting from the 50th verse. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this moral must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this moral should have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that it is written, death is swallowed in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unremovable, abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your in labor is not in vain in the Lord. Let the church say amen. amen. I have just read the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians, the 50 through the 58th verse. May the Lord add a blessing to his holy divine word. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, if it had not been for you, where would we be? If it had not been for you, Lord, where would we be? We thank you for just being the most omnipotent God that there is. You are the creator of every good and perfect gift. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your grace, for your mercy, for your loving kindness, for your forgiveness. We thank you, Lord. If we had 10,000 tongues, we would not, we would not be able to thank you and praise you enough for all of the many wonderful blessings that you have brought to us. We thank you for your protection. We thank you, Father God, for this day. In spite of, Father God, we know that you're a good God. We know that you're an awesome God. We know, Father God, that you can do anything but fail. And we thank you. Lord, Father God, right now, we just ask that you Shower down your blessings in this place. Father God, touch, heal, deliver in only the way that you can. Lord, Father God, wrap your loving arms around this family, Lord. Give them peace. Give them strength. Father God, give them grace. Give them mercy. Father God, you are the only true and living God and we know Father God that you would not leave us or forsake us because you said it in your word Lord Father God we thank you right now for the presence of your Holy Spirit we thank you for the life of Adriana Martinez we thank you for her wonderful spirit we thank you for the legacy that she's left behind we thank you for the love that she's given, for the love that she's shown. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for her family, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, go with them, lead them, guide them in the way that you would have them to go. Keep us, Father God, because we can't make this journey without you. Lord, Father God, we know that 
You give life and you take life away. But we also know, Father God, that you sent us a deliverer. You sent us a comforter, Father God. Father God, and we know if we live right, if we walk right, if we talk right, that we'll be able to see Sister Adriana once again. Lord, Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We lift you up. Bless all those, Father God, that are under the sound of my voice. Bless those that had a desire to be here and could not. Lord God, bless those that are sick and afflicted all over the land and country. We all stand in the need of something. And we're to trusting and depending on you to meet us at that need. Lord Father God, bless our pastor and his wife. Bless this church, Father God, that sits on the hill where hope in Christ never dies. Allow us, Father God, to minister to your people. Allow us, Father God, to be the agents of change that you need us to be. Lord, Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We lift you up. And we magnify your holy and your precious name. These blessings we ask in your darling son, Jesus' name, and for his sake. Amen. 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 Come on, people of God. Let us clap our hands and give God some praise. Amen. We are here for a homegoing celebration. Amen. The Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Even in this, people of God, we rejoice. Amen. We rejoice because God is still good. He still gets the glory and he's still worthy of our praise. Amen. Amen. For we know that God has taken Sister Adriana to receive her ultimate healing. Amen. Her ultimate healing and that we rejoice. Amen. No more pain. No more suffering. Amen. She's received her ultimate healing in the same arms that's holding Sister Adriana right now is holding you all today. Amen. God is good and is worthy to be praised. Amen. At this time, people of God, we will have resolutions and acknowledgments read, followed by tributes by uh, Sister Dana Maxwell, the Walmart family, and also uh, we'll have uh, Tady and Dez to come as well. Amen. Amen. And then after that, we'll have another musical selection by uh, Minister Quadricus Qualls. And then we will have the eulogy given by Bishop-elect Reverend Raymond Terrell. Amen. 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 Walnut Grove Missionary Baptist Church, 1616 Walnut Grove Road, Clarksville, Tennessee, 37042. Church letter of condolence to the family of late Adriana Martinez. Precious is the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Psalms 116th chapter, 5th verse. Whereas in the providence of God, he has brought to close the life of Miss Martinez. Pastor Carl E. Livingston, officers and members of the Walnut Grove Missionary Baptist Church, feel that it is befitting to express our deepest condolences to her devoted family and friends. We know that memories can take the place of those we love, for she was loved and cherished by all. But God can draw us close as her, your hearts remember and celebrate her life. We stand united with you all and bow in humble submission to God. You are never alone. You have a Savior who cares for all. In Hebrews 13, chapter Fifth verse, Jesus said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, for he knows all about your sorrow today. More importantly, we recognize that this loss is heaven's gain. Therefore, we rejoice and celebrate through tear-filled eyes. To God be the glory for all well lived. Humbly submitted to on this 23rd day of March, 2024, Dr. Carl Lee Livingston, pastor, 
and the Walnut Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church, where hope in Christ never dies. 9329 Pembroke Oak Grove Road, Oak Grove, Kentucky. Resolution. Whereas God has brought to a close the life of Adriana Martinez, the Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church feel that it is befitting to express our sympathy to Desiree Martinez, Jaron Mart Stephens, Tatiana Belido, Deacons, Deacon and Sister Harris, and the entire family during this time of bereavement. We commend you to him. We commend you to him who knoweth best and will always do right. You have our sincere prayers. Whereas Adriana was a mother, daughter, sister, and friend, whose life on earth was cut short too short. Her presence and spirit certainly left a humble, sustaining memory in our hearts. Be it resolved that we bow in humble submission to him who never makes a mistake and remind the family to be encouraged. When I must leave, must leave you for a little while, please do not grieve and shed a wild tears and hug your sorrow to you through your years. But start out bravely with a gallant smile and for my sake and in my name, live on and do all the things the same. Feed not your loneliness on empty days, but fill each walking hour in useful ways. Reach out your hand and comfort and cheer and I in turn will comfort you and hold you near. And never, never be afraid to die, for I'm waiting for you in the sky. Be it further resolved that a copy of the resolution is be given to the family and a copy kept in the church archives. To the children, parents, and family, we know your loss is deep and your sorrow is great. But we want you to know that we share in your sorrow. But more importantly, we recognize that the loss is heaven's gain. Humbly submitted, Bishop-elect Raymond Terrell Pastor, Miss Erica Dobbs, Church Secretary. Amen. Rare people. There are many people that we have met in our lives, but only a few will make a lasting impression with our minds and our hearts. These people will always listen and talk to you. They will care about your happiness and your well-being. They will like you for who you are, and they will support you at all times. I am fortunate to have you as my true friend. Adriana, you were rare, and I love you. my fair share of losses, but nothing could prepare me for the pain of losing you. It was hard to stay strong as we held your hand and wiped your tears. The battle with us was as if we said enough or done enough. Hell never ending. My heart aches with grief but I find comfort in memory of you. You were very humble, putting others' needs before your own, and as a single mother of three, that came naturally to you. Your friends say you were loyal and a good listener, and when you needed to vent from Wally World, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just thought I put that there. <laughs> you, you didn't need the finer things in life. You're looking down on us, happy to be wearing your purple Bucky's t-shirt and pair of blue jeans. <laughs> so rich in love, you had everything you ever needed. We are here with you, Mom. The people who thought and prayed for you. 
the lifelong friends who were the pillars of your strength. And so and your tight knit family. Grandma Josie, Grandpa Ben, Tati, Jaron, and Denise, who has the heart and spirit of a nurse, mm -hmm. stayed by your side to the very end. I know that is all you could have ever asked for. Man. You are at peace. I know you and Patty are proud. Thank you for all the goldfishes and Pepsi Mama. <laughs> I will miss you always. I love you. You're boo goo. <laughs> hey, everyone. Thank you for coming out today and showing love to our family. Mom had such an impact on all of us, obviously. <laughs> she was a light in this world, always smiling, full of joy and welcoming. There's not enough words to describe her. I am blessed to have her as a mom. She has been through a lot and has sacrificed for us. For that, I am forever grateful. Mom was such, she has such a warm spirit, and it was always so nice to be around her, and you can be free around her, and she accepted you with open arms. She gave the best hugs, made the greatest enchiladas, <laughs> and was so fun and easy to talk to. She will forever be in our hearts. We will meet, it, we will meet again in heaven, because this isn't a goodbye. This is a see you later when we're all home together in heaven and be with Jesus. Amen. This is the hardest day for all of us. And you know, it's not easy to say goodbye. But, you know, one thing I learned about my mother, times that we spent together, learned the sacrifices she made, not for me, but for my dear sisters, is that a parent's job is to always do what they can to take care of that child. That's right. That's right. And despite the hardships, despite the sacrifices, the heartbreaks, the pain, because we all been through that, yes. she was a strong woman and she managed to rise on top. And one thing she taught me at times when I used to call and vent to her about, Mom, life is so hard right now. She always tells me, take it one day at a time, sweetie. <laughs> and no matter what, I'll always be with you. She is with us. Not physically, but spiritually. She is watching down from us in heaven. I love you, Mom. And like, and like you said, sister. It's not a goodbye. It's see you later. And also, I made a promise that no matter what, Desi, Tati, Grandma, Grandpa, Aunt Denise, Aunt Dana, Aunt Teresa, here's a list. <laughs> the one thing about her, she always want to keep us smiling, smiling and laughing, just telling you all that. It's no matter what, we're all going to stick together. Thank you all for coming. Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church. We're hoping Christ never dies. 9329 Pembroke Oak Grove Road. Resolution. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled the faded not, that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God 
through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in last time. First Peter, first chapter, third through the fifth verse. I believe thou all around be darkness. I believe, believe to see the rainbow after rain. Believe that light will surely fo follow darkness, and frozen earth will yield her flowers again. I must believe he hears my faintest call, for Jesus lives and reigns, and God is over all. The valley may be dark, the shadows deep, but oh, the shepherd's guards is lone, his lonely sheep. And through the gloom, he'll lead me home. My heavenly father wait, watches, me, watches over me. Be it resolved that our deepest expression of sympathy be expressed, extended to the family of the deceased, whom we commit unto God of all comfort, who will sustain them in their hour of loss. Sorrowfully submitted, Mothers and Deaconess Ministry, Shirley Johnson, Chairperson, Loretta Moore, Vice Chairperson, Sernetta McCoy, Secretary, Bishop elect Raymond Terrell, Pastor. Amen. I love you, Lord. For your mercies never failed me All my days I held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head For I will sing of the goodness of God Cause all my life I have been faithful In all my life you have been so, so good With every breath I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in the darkest night. You're close like no other I know you as a father I've known you as my friend And I will live In the goodness of God Cause all my life you have been faithful How many know he's been faithful to you in this place? Cause all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the
close. Most holy, eternal God, our Father, we come at this appointed time, this appointed place to do this appointed mission. And Father, we hear the Heavenly Father to support this family and let them know, dear God, that God, you have their back. That whatever they stand in the need of, all they have to do now is continue to hold on to God's unchanging hands. And Lord, you will be right there. You've given them a personal angel now that they know, dear Heavenly Father, rests in your care. Bless these parents children, the siblings, Lord bless the friends and those who come and say fare thee well. God, you called this meeting and we just answered the call. We all have to go this way once and the last time. So God, in the name of Jesus, we ask now that you just Bless those who hang their heart, their heads in sorrow and in grief. Let them know that this too shall pass. We appreciate friends and family that's come from a mighty long way. We thank you for those who are streaming the live and couldn't be here. Uh, those family members from Texas and Washington State and other states. Let them know, dear Heavenly Father, they're not here personally, but they're here in spirit. So, God, we ask now that as we come and do this final farewell, have thine own way. Strengthen and comfort this family. Have thine own way. Hold this, your humble servant, in the hollow of your hands. And allow the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart to be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. It's in Jesus' magnificent name we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. My brothers and sisters, you do know that this is a celebration of life. It's not a celebration of death, but a celebration of life. And if it's, if it's a celebration of life, uh, then let's make it lively. Amen. 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 Let's make it lively. Stand on your feet. And let's give this family and give God what he's done in the life of Adriana a round of applause. Come on. Hallelujah. Then the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Desi, Tati, and Jaron, I'm so proud of you. Amen. She would be proud of you as well. Amen. Uh, my scripture was read earlier in the scripture reading, and um, we just thank God that it was read. Amen. Well, let, let, let's give all the, the ministers a hand, would you please? It's good to see Dr. Livingston. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And I'm not going to be before you long. She's already lived her life. Amen. I can't add to it, nor can I take, it, take away from it. Amen. But we want to say a few words on her behalf. And to let you know that she was a child of God. Amen. Amen. That's so very important. 
the scripture came from 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, uh, verses 50 through uh, 58. And, and Paul had something to say there concerning uh, what was going on in the church at Corinth. But for us today, I just need to tell you that life is fragile. Amen. I don't care how strong you think you may be or uh, how big and how bad. You do have a breaking point. Do I have a witness? And as it already been said, life can be too short. Uh, life oftentimes is short because of what we feel about the one that is gone. But we read in, in, in Psalms 90, uh, the days of our years, or three score years, and 10. And if by reason of strength, uh, they be four score years, uh, understand that God has the clock. And we're all on the clock. Amen? Amen. And sometimes it does not seem as if uh, we're going to get to where we need to be in life. Sometimes things happen. We have those bumps in the road in life. Amen. And sometimes it just does not seem fair that we lose one as young as we have and uh, that it seems as though things is going not to turn out the way it should be. But I don't know about you, but I'm glad about the fact that God gave us Adriana. She gave us, a, he gave us Adriana for a reason. He gave us Adriana to show us some things in life that how we can bounce back from some of the harshest things that life have to throw at us. Adriana, Adriana's life was filled with love, filled with laughter, and a little silliness as well. <laughs> Amen. Amen. She was a mother, a daughter, a sister, a niece, a friend. Amen. And she was smart. And she was talented. And by you being here today says that she was a caring person. That she would uh, love on you as long as you let her love on you. She was a woman who loved giving herself to others when they were in need. And she always thought about the other person and never thought about herself. And I found out that that driving came from a sense and a relationship that she had with the master. She knew that whatever she needed, that he was going to provide. She knew that all she had to do was hold on to God's unchanging hands. How many of you know there is a but in life? But she's gone. She's gone. And it doesn't seem right that she's gone. But it's, it also seems not fair. But that is between her and God. And there's nothing we can do to change it. Do I have a witness? Amen. Understand what the Bible says. The Bible says that to everything there is a season, a time to everything under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die. My brothers and sisters, death is one of the things that everyone fears. Everyone that is who, uh, who, who, who have a relationship, who do not have a relationship with the master, you fear death. If you're not holding on to God's unchanging hands, you fear death. But the true child of God, the true child of God does not and should not fear death. 
Why? Because we know and understand that it is only, that is the only way that we will be able to see Jesus and those that have gone on before us. Hear what Paul told the Romans in six, uh, chap, uh, chapter 6. He says, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized unto Christ, uh, Jesus, were baptized unto his death? He goes on to say, We were buried, therefore, with him by the baptism unto death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life for if we have been united with him in a death like his we shall what certainly be united with him in a resurrection like this in times like these brothers and sisters in times like these, I want to let you know that there still are some rays of hope. Yes, sir. There are rays of hope to look forward to simply because God is in charge. And the Logos, that is the word of God through Jesus Christ, uh, lets us know, amen, that the Lord will provide and take care of us. Yes, sir. Just like he did for Adriana, he will take care of us. Matter of fact, Peter stopped and said, uh, cast all your cares upon him. Why? Because he cares for you. Jesus, Jesus himself says, come unto me, all who are labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for my yoke for I am gentle and gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest in your souls. She is resting now. She's all right now. No more misery. No more pain. She's done her job here on earth. She raised three wonderful children who have a life of their own, but they're marching by the drumbeat of Jesus. All right. And we have to say thank God for her. She instilled into them to know that whatever you do in this life, wherever you go in this world, take Jesus. Yes. She raised them in church. They were in Sunday school and church and all the activities in church. I, I remember when Tati used to have to do her Easter speech. <laughs> Amen. She was so shy. But, <laughs> but off in a distance, right, right there, Mama was right there egging her on and letting her know, you can do this. And you know what we do in the Baptist church. Amen, amen. <laughs> Take your time, sweetie. <laughs> amen. But that's what she did. She raised her children uh, just like the Bible told her to, and she followed in that pattern. And she had a good pattern. A amen. When you look uh, at, at Sister Joseph, she had a good pattern. That's right, that's right. When they moved into the area, she made sure that they came under the roof of the house of hope and, and, and learned about a God that was her God. And then not only that, her God, but God of ancient. He, she, she realized she wanted them to know that we come to church. Amen. And we do what we have to do. I remember it was kind of hard when they first came because she was Catholic. I'm like, Lord, I'm baptized. How, how do I do this? <laughs> Amen. But the Lord worked it out. Amen. And I'm glad about the fact uh, that God has always been in control. Yes. For those of us who are here waiting, amen, for our time to come, I need you to understand uh, that God said and promises that he will never leave us nor 
forsake us. In the text, and I, can't, and I hurry on, in the text uh, that was read for your consideration, uh, the Apostle Paul was writing to the church at Corinth. At a time in the New Testament church, amen, when things were not like they should have been. They were dealing with some issues that was affecting the doctrine and uh, the fellowship in the church. It had gotten so bad that it started causing some divisions in the church. And in the 15th chapter, we see uh, that the doctrine of the kingdom of God and death and Christ's resurrection had come into question. And I imagine, I, I can imagine in my sanctified mind, Paul gets, gets the news of what's going on in Corinth and other New Testament churches, and he clears his throat. <clears> throat> He picked up his pen and he started writing. And as he wrote, he says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doeth corruption inherit incorruption. But I show you a mystery that we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed. You do know that we can't enter in in this skin. We'll all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must must put on incorruption. And this mortal must, must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have been put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then it shall be brought to pass saying that is the writing, death is swallowed up. In victory. Oh, death, where's your sting? Oh, great, where's your victory? The sting of death is sin. That's why we have to struggle now because of sin. That's why we have to cry now because of sin. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. That's what Paul wrote uh, to the Corinthian church and to us. He let us know that we ain't getting in in this skin. Can I give you Terrell's commentary? <laughs> Amen. Pray with me if you would. Just, 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 just let me give you a little bit of Terrell's commentary. And that is when we die, when you're looking to get into heaven, you can't get in in this old outfit. And that's what, what he was saying. He was saying, you've got to get a brand new outfit. And, and if you're a, a woman with some class in here, you know what a brand new outfit is. Do I have a witness? And if you're a man who cares about yourself, amen, and you, you like looking good, you know what a brand new outfit is. Mm -hmm. We're about to enter into a season now that the children and the grown folk are out there looking for a brand new outfit. Say it, say it. The thing about a brand new outfit is it does not take just one thing. No, you got to have it from the top of your head right. to the sole of your feet. Do I have a witness? And when you find that dress, when you find that suit, uh, you got to uh, put some accessories on it. And the accessories got to accent what the color of the suit is, the color of the dress is. And you just can't buy any old shoes. Do I have a witness? 
you're going to look for that pair of shoes got to fit first. Amen. There was a time in my life that I loved Stacy Adams, but age told me Stacy Adams can't hold you up. Amen, somebody. And I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad that Cole Hahn came with some nice shoes. They soft. I tell my wife now, you're looking for some shoes for me. Don't do it. I can find my own. Because they got to feel like sketchers. From the top of my head to the sole of my feet, I want to look good. Do I have a witness? This old outfit that we have, this flesh and blood, we got to have, we're going to have a brand new outfit. Yes. Amen. If you're walking with the Lord and you know the Lord for yourself, you can start now looking around and finding out that, well, I got a pain, but it ain't going to be that long. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Do I have a witness? Yes, sir. A a amen. And that is what happened March 18th. God saw that Adriana was tired. She was tired of going from hospital to hospital. She was tired of medicine and, 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 and coming into her veins and, 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 and stuff. She was tired. But she still loved the Lord. Do I have a witness? Amen. The spirit moved in the, in the hospital and everybody was sent home. They had to tell Josie, go on home and get you some rest. And isn't it, isn't it ironic that all her children somehow or another is attached to the medical field? Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Huh? What, I mean, what a wonderful gesture to walk in the shoes that your mother walked in. Sometimes we don't understand, but God knew way back then that he was getting ready to, to, to make things right for the children, and he did it through her. But on March 18th, just, just a few days ago, Paul whispered in the ears of God and, and, and said, God, you remember what you had me to write to the Corinthians about flesh and blood cannot enter into heaven? That this corruptible outfit that we have walking around in, it has to change. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Ha! I'm trying to act right. <laughs> Amen. But God whispered back to Paul and said, well, tell Adriana. Mm. She don't have to shop around no more. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Come on. She don't have to go to Walmart. She don't have to uh, go, to, <laughs> go, go to Macy's. She don't have to do none of that. <laughs> tell her. I got her a brand new outfit my God no more tears no more pain no more misery no more hospitals no more medicine brand new brand new Tell her I got a glorified body yes, sir. Yes, sir. waiting for her. Yes, sir. Not no blemish. Mm. Woo. Mm. No stain. Yes. In life she was pretty. Mm. Yes. God said tell her she's going to be beautiful because she is wonderfully made. Brand new body. Tell her I got one ready, waiting for her. I remember going to visit her. And when I walked in, she sat straight up out the bed. 
Tati and one of her friends was there. And when I walked in, it was like, she made my day. Because I came up to make her day and make her feel better based on what the family had told me how she was going through. But when I walked in that room and she sat up on that bed <laughs> and she said, Pastor, only the way that she can. And when she smiled, she had a way of making you feel bigger than you've ever felt before. And I was feeling pretty good. I, I came in looking to be down. But how many of you know there is some sunshine yes, sir. at the end of every rainbow? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boy, we clown and talked, we talked about all kinds of coffee. <laughs> and it was as if she was her old self again. When I walked out of that room, I knew that there was a God. I knew that all that she has gone through, God was putting it into place. God was getting ready to cut it off. But every now and then, she'll give you, he'll give you that ray of hope to let you know it's going to be all right. I, I don't know about you. <laughs> I got arthritis. I just had my cataracts taken out. Oh, Arthur set in. Had bypass surgery, had cancer. Oh, but I'm waiting. Yeah. I, I, I'm waiting. I'm, I, I ain't got to go to, to what, that Queen City. I, I don't have to go, amen, up here to get me a brand new suit. I'm waiting. Just like she waited. I, I'm waiting to get my brand new outfit. Are you waiting? <laughs> Are you waiting to get your brand new outfit? Let me help you, and I'm on clothes. Amen. When I get my brand new outfit, can't nobody tell me nothing. Back in the old days, I thought I, you know, I had a little pimp going on. But you let me get my brand new glorified outfit. Ain't nobody going to be able to tell me nothing. I heard the church of old say, you ain't going to be able to put me, take me out. I'm going to have on brand new shoes. I'm going to have on brand new robe. I'm going to have a crown on my head. And at the end of it all, I'm going to hear Christ saying, well done. That good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. But come now and enter into the joy of thy salvation. That's what he told Adriana. Come on in. I got a brand new outfit for you. And it's going to fit you. You don't have to have no alterations. You're going to sit down. Good God Almighty. And your sister's waiting for you. Patty told her the other day, you look good, sis. That fits you, sis. Patty ushered her on in. Family, she's all right now. She's all right now. God has relieved you of your earthly duties when it comes to Adriana. And let me say for all of us, job. Oh, yeah. Job well done. Amen. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for her life. We thank you for what we, what we learned through her life. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, that she's all right now. She's resting in the arms of Jesus. Down here on earth, her and Patty used to have some parties. Uh, but there's a party going on in heaven right about now. And it's just for them. And if we find and walk with Jesus, we're able to be able to be there with them. Lord, we thank you. Bless this family. Strengthen them. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. 
amen, amen. and amen. You're in the hands of the morticians.